Okay, welcome to the training session for the Fuji Xerox MFD and the connector to Palace. Uh, my name is Duncan and today I'm going to make three videos all pertaining to um, using the Fuji Xerox MFD to scan directly into Palace software. And the first video is going to be um, is going to be scanning to a property diary, just scanning a standard uh, document into the diary, not creating any transactions or anything along those lines. I'm also going to talk about the other functions in the home screen. Um, so this video will be a bit of an introduction into um, the connector for Palace software. So you'll see at the moment uh, I'm uh, we're on a screen here, which is the main screen for the Fuji Xerox um, multifunctional device, and you'll notice there's an extra button up the top. Uh, in the center that actually says mm. palace so that's the one I'm going to click on and that will take us to the palace connector software you'll notice there's three main buttons there there's the diary entry the works order and the batch scanning so what I'm going to end up doing is creating three different training videos for these three functions uh, which will just give you a rundown on on what you're achieving when you use this system it is very basic and um, it shouldn't, these videos should not take long to review. So you'll notice up the top there, the first thing is it's got a property with a text box for you to start typing in the name of a property. Now this is a search function, so if I select it, you'll notice that a keyboard pops up, and I'm going to start typing in the name of a property. So first, after the first three letters, it gives me a list up the top right-hand side here, and this list is just a display of anything with those three letters in and once I've found that list I'm going to actually select the top one which is Glengarry and that will just put the name of that address in there. You'll notice there's a checkbox that says retain property uh, that's just used if you're going to be scanning a lot of documents to the same property you don't want to have to type it in all the time if you tick that box what it'll do is the next time it comes back to this screen that property will automatically be there ready for you to scan your next document for that property it also shows you the name of the owner um, that's just a display field just to make sure you've got the right property and uh, and you're on the right track so the very first one I'm going to talk about. I'll talk about the works order and the batch scanning in my second and third video, uh, but today I'm going to be talking about the diary entry, which uh, again is just scanning a document into a diary. So I'm going to hit on the diary entry one, and that will take me to effectively what is the diary screen within Palace, um, but it's obviously on the MFD, so it's formatted um, fairly basically, the description's at the top. Now that description's defaulted in there uh, due to the name of the group that is currently showing in the groups area. If I change the group um, to something else, you'll notice the description changes automatically. And I want to change it back to an agreement because that's the one I want to do. If I would like to put in something else in the description, I can also do that and just overwrite that one there. So if I select that one and start typing in uh, something else, um, let's say I'll put the word contract in um, you can type whatever you want in here it's the basic diary description um, the agent that uh, that is entering this so the agent could be the primary agent it could be you um, again that just defaults to the first one uh, you need to select um, what one this particular diary entry relates to. Um, the online button uh, is used to effectively put the document online for the owner to see it when they log into the owner portal. Double-sided means that when you scan it you want to scan it double-sided. By default this is always single-sided. So you'll see I've got a document up the top here um, which is just a mock agreement that I put up and I'm going to scan that straight in to uh, this particular diary entry. So all I do is hit the scan button and then just hit start. Now this is contacting our Palace web service and copying that document directly into the diary entry just as a basic attachment. Okay, we're now in Palace and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go find the diary entry that we scanned in and just review what's actually happened within Palace itself. So I'm selecting the property list 
I'm going to search for the property that we scanned the document to and that's this one here called Glengarry Road. I'm going to right click on it and select the diary. This will bring up the diary list and you'll notice at the very top there uh, with the description of contract on the right hand side is the scan document that we've scanned directly into Palace. I'm going to right click and edit it to just show you the information within it. So the word contract which I which I typed in. The group is set to agreement which we selected and the agent is the Johnny Depp agent which we selected as well. If I want to actually have a look at the document I can just open it from down here and that is the document which we scanned in. So that's it. We've completed the entire process of a scanned document directly into the property diary.